Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is the recent No Man's Sky VR announcement, and more specifically, why I think that this is not the right time for No Man's Sky to receive virtual reality. Now, it goes without saying that this video is extremely opinion heavy, and as such, if you cannot take criticism or one man's opinion, then this probably isn't the video for you. It may be better for you to just not watch it rather than get upset and uh, type out a massive paragraph in the comments about how I am wrong. There is nothing wrong with giving your view, but trust me, this is not fact. I am not trying to say that what I think is what everyone thinks. This is simply my take on everything that is going on. So with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. Okay, so with the recent announcement of No Man's Sky VR only coming yesterday, there have already been a lot of people in the community that are very excited for it. You know, like L plays, who is literally creaming his pants at the thought of No Man's Sky VR. But then again, there are also people who are a little bit skeptical and more importantly, confused, let down and a bit frustrated. Of course, today I want to look mainly at those who don't see No Man's Sky VR as an overly good thing or at least just don't see the point in it. I want to try and give these people a little bit more of a voice and uh, try and get across their points because I do feel like these people do make very, very good claims when talking about No Man's Sky VR. But of course, I am going to be giving my opinion on all of this because my opinion is towards the people who don't see No Man's Sky VR as something important, something that should have been added now. It should have been something which was added later down the line. So first and foremost, let's actually talk about VR itself. Now, I am lucky enough to own a VR headset. I bought an Oculus Rift off Amazon for about 400 and fifty pound in I think around July of 2018. I have had my fair share of virtual reality. I think it is an incredibly fun experience and with all of the money and the stress of you know setting it up and making sure you have a big play area aside, virtual reality definitely does have a future in gaming. I just don't necessarily think it is this generation of virtual reality. But the problem is, is that I bought a VR headset because I am big on technology. I have a computer which can handle a VR headset and ultimately I am very, very involved with gaming. Not everyone is like this. This is something which I really do want to talk about because VR is such a precise market. VR is nowhere near mainstream. There have been attempts to make it a load more mainstream and more commonplace with things like PlayStation VR. However, for the most part, virtual reality is something which only people that are serious about technology and gaming decide to invest their money into. This is largely due to how it expensive VR headsets are, especially Oculus Rifts and HTC Vives that can be upwards of four, five hundred, maybe even six hundred pound for some of the newer versions. Not to mention that VR headsets also require a very good computer if you are going with a Rift or a Vive. And as such, there is just a lot of money involved with committing to virtual reality. PC VR is way more technical than console VR, but at the end of the day, not everyone has VR. In fact, a lot of people don't have VR for various different reasons. VR is not something like a PS4, which everyone will just get for Christmas one time. It is a very large commitment, especially in terms of the PC market, excluding PS VR. And because of that, No Man's Sky VR just doesn't tickle everyone's fancy. Even if everyone did own a VR headset, I still don't think that No Man's Sky VR would make sense at this current point in time. And that is because right now, No Man's Sky would be way better off with an update that focuses on other aspects rather than virtual reality. I mean, the one which everyone always brings up is variety, planet variety, whether it be animals or 
waterfalls or E3 looking planets or whatever. There is so much in terms of the game itself that needs addressing before VR should even be considered. Now, I know you may be saying that, look, if the third part of the Beyond update is indeed variation focused, then this whole video is completely pointless. And yes, I do understand that. However, my point is, VR should be an afterthought. It should be something which is added to the game when there is nothing else that can be added to dramatically improve No Man's Sky. Because No Man's Sky realistically can improve in so many different areas. We know that No Man's Sky Online or No Man's Sky Multiplayer is going to get a huge overhaul with Beyond. But things like variety and space and all of that stuff we don't know about. And if Hello Games have decided to put their effort into making a VR port rather than making the base game which the majority of the player base actually use, then that just doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. This whole situation, if I were to put it into one big metaphor, is kind of like adding icing to a cake that is half done or maybe polishing a rusty bike that's been sat out in the rain for three weeks. There is stuff to do before you add the final touches and this is the case with No Man's Sky. VR right now just shouldn't be a focus. It is not the time to introduce VR. That's not to say that I'm not going to be very excited when it comes out and I'm not going to play it because trust me, I have an Oculus. I am going to experience it for myself. I just think a lot of people in the community, myself included, are a little confused why Hello Games would spend all of this development time working on virtual reality when there are so many more pressing issues and fixes and additions that would benefit more people. It's so precise and isolated that it just doesn't make a great deal of sense in the grand scheme of things. Now, I understand that this video comes off as extremely hateful and disrespectful and whatever, but you just have to understand that I'm not hating on virtual reality itself. You know, in fact, I think No Man's Sky VR is a fucking great thing. I just don't know why we have it now and why we didn't receive it in the update after Beyond or the update after that. You know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me why right now No Man's Sky VR is something which is being worked on and being released when there is so much more stuff that should have taken higher priority over it. So with that ramble all out of the way, I of course want to know your guys thoughts on this because I can imagine this is quite a sensitive and touchy topic. So please do feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section of the video. I do just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And as always, if you guys did enjoy it, then please do feel free to leave a like on it. And I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skinboot, signing out.